Hello Internet, how's everybody doing? Oh, don't mind my little dramatic intro. So how's everybody doing today? Uh, today, uh, we'll be learning a really good one today because a lot of you have really requested this particular tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to clone ourselves into one single footage. And if you don't know what we'll be doing, here's a video of what we'll be doing. So yeah, um, I've put a link below of the footage that I'll be working with so you can follow along, just download it and um, just do what I'm doing and uh, you know, put your own twist to it however you want it and uh, do me a favor, when you do yours, um, create yours for yourself like I said and um, send it to me, I just want to see what you guys you know, are able to do with this, but anyways, uh, Without talking too much, let's hop on After Effects and get started. Okay, so we're on to After Effects now, and um, I just opened the footage we'll be working with. And um, so, as you can see here, um, this is a footage of my friend. This was back when I was even in Nigeria, about five, six years ago. How crazy! So, what you want to do is have your actor or yourself act like you're talking to yourself as you can see him acting looking to the left as if he's talking to someone there then pause it go to the next you don't actually you don't have to pause your recording just record everything straight up so then he goes to the next place acting like he's talking to the person seeing here he goes to the next place acting like he's looking at the two of them and as if there's someone behind him looking then he goes to the last location as you can see it's pretending so just kind of see yourself as if not until someone comes <laughs> but um one more thing you want to do is before or after you finish taking your clip make sure you have one shot where there's nothing in frame so you don't have anybody in frame make sure you you do that you don't have anybody in frame because what that is going to help us with is something called the clean plate that's what we're going to use as um kind of the base the 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 background that we we'll use to uh, lay everything all over so let's get it. let's get it so now bring your footage drop it into a new composition as you can see right here drop into a new composition in the new composition you want to um uh, you want to duplicate your footage Control command D on the Mac So on the bottom one, let's name it PG That's background Or call it clean plate Call it clean plate Then what you want to do is On this frame where there's nothing on it Right click And go to time Once you right click you see all this menu go to time under time you want to go to freeze frame so now that you click freeze frame you've kind of frozen you've frozen that particular uh that particular frame you've frozen it on the entire timeline as you can see it's all frozen now so what you want to do now is you remember you did duplicate your footage so on the top one still has the regular uh, footage that he shot so let us have him coming now standing there let us um let us uh split the footage into two you use command command shift d that's the shortcut so we we'll delete the first one so remember we still now have him pretending as if he's talking to someone so let us look at where it's close to him finishing that okay it finishes that right here so let us split the image again command shift d for those of you using windows it's gonna be Control shift d so we already have one of our footage let's drag it let's drag it close to the beginning of the timeline now let's continue again to find the next clip let's see let's see okay Let's say from here, let us split it. Command Shift D to split it. We delete because remember, 
we have extra footage that we don't need so we delete that so now we need this to see where it finishes so it finishes right here okay so to split the footage command shift d again we'll drag that to the beginning of the timeline right there then we need to look for the next point where it starts we don't need all this so let's say it starts from here right there now we split the footage again we we'll delete that now we we'll try to find where is acting like there's someone there okay so it finishes right there now let us play the image again command D and let's drag that out to the first right there now on the last position we don't need all this right there okay command shift D split the image footage then we'll drag this last one now we'll drag it to the beginning of the timeline so you can see that right there so now we're gonna close the uh, we're gonna close the timeline to get extra exactly what we want which is where I'm at right now so once you drag to where you want so you right click on the work area right click on this bar right here this bar right here right click on it then you click trim come to work area once you click that it expands your timeline to exactly how you want so this is 11 seconds so now we have all these layers stuck on each other like that and don't forget we have our clean plate beneath it so now the trick now to review each of them inside the same frame is uh your mask so the mask is what we now we use to isolate each of these um um location where the guy stays at to to be able to review every single one on the same frame so check this out so let's go to the so now you see that the last this was the last one that we had which is gonna be the first footage on top so now come to your mask right here rectangle tool click on that now what you want to do is drag out as you can see once i give you click on the mask see voila see that how cool so as you can see now it reveals the other guy now let us go to the next one which is this guy that is revealing we want to review the third one where he is here so now you go to your mask tool again you click on the footage drag it out see that right there cool right so now we see the three of them so now we need one more mask so we need to mask this one out again so it can reveal the last guy here so click on our mask tool again make sure you're clicking on the footage that you want to mask on so we try that out as you can see cool right there so as you can see now we have the four of them in the same footage so if you if you play back you see that they are all acting like they are interacting let's play it back and see it's it's a really fun one i'm sure <laughs> make sure you try this try this with your dad mom anybody especially with this season where everybody is at home just be creative with it do something fun maybe show how you like multitask you know have yourself in a room like doing different things at the same time that would be really cool just like the one that i did that you saw but yeah um honestly that's pretty much it but just to add a bonus is that um it will be nice for you to make sure you feather out your entire uh 
let me hold on uh, so select all your mask and click F press F on the keyboard and let's say further than to about 5 pixel so what that does is on the edges of each of your mask it helps you further it out so yeah now that we further it out I think that's like really good so now if I play back as you can see how cool is that so another bonus tip that I'll give you guys so that people don't feel like why is everything looks just so stationary what you want to do is add a little bit of a shape so it feels like someone is holding the camera so it, you know it sells the effect more so what you want to do is select select all your select all your footage and click command click command command shift c that's going to bring up your uh pre-composition so pre-comp all these my friend's name is Fla. i'll say Fla on that call pre-comp move our attribute to new composition okay so now on this new composition this is where you want to add your shake um so what you can do is just hit um scale first scale your scale your um say your scale your composition a little bit so it's 100 now let's do like one 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 ten to scale it up so now since our composition is uh our footage now is bigger than the entire composition that we have so now we can do our shape so you go to um position that's p you hold on to um alt those of you using windows hold alt and those of you using mac hold control sorry option click on that i will do wiggle it's an expression wiggle open bracket close bracket let's say point two dash let's say five i think that should be fine just so the moment is not too much yeah this is probably too small okay let us increase that let's say 15 I still don't see enough shake. Let's do two. Okay, as you can see now, it shakes a lot, but we probably don't want that much shake. Let's reduce the 15 to maybe 10. Sorry. To 10. This is still too much. Uh, okay, let's reduce this to maybe five and this to um, one. Let's do that. Yeah, I think this is fine. So, guys, that's pretty much it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, don't forget, I want to see what you guys can do with this. And um, make sure you like does help the video subscribe and um yeah send this to a friend let people let us keep learning and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial